Hello, this is Bill, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a click track or a MIDI uh, a MIDI track in GarageBand. Uh, so you go here, you go to Create New Music Project, click on it. It says My Song 26. Uh, you can name it. Click track one. You don't have to have dot band either. It'll just be click track one. And we'll save to uh, someplace where you know where it's going to be. We'll just say uh, desktop for now. Tempo, you can either do it this way or you can go right here and change it to, let's say, 120. enter oh so it should be coming up here any second there you go and I usually start with the drums for a MIDI track um, but you could start with if it's just gonna be a piano track it can be a piano track we're if you're gonna make a click track with this um, you're gonna have to mix it down and I would put it on an iPod but people uh, have Ableton live now which uh, it looks pretty cool. I haven't used it yet. So, we would go here, um, double click on the grand piano, and that will give you a list over here of the different instruments that you can use. I'll start with drum kits, and I'll choose rock kit because I know there's a bass drum in there, and I like a bass drum. Okay, now this thing here. You can use pressing those, or you can change it over here um, to um, the keyboard on your computer. And then press A, S, D, all these different things like that. And you can press on your keyboard and do it that way. Some of them do stuff, some of them don't. I don't use this at all. Um, so then we go up here and we hit uh, I did the Apple and left click and that makes a MIDI region right there and then uh, for we want to do a loop here so we come down here and press this little loop thing if you can see what I'm doing press that and that gives you this yellow line up here bring the yellow line back to 2 because that's where our loop is and if I play it which I'll press the space bar to play it it'll just keep looping over that one measure over and over and over again now you can also shut off that metronome sound uh, I can't remember where that is um, oh, I think it's right here control metronome and if you have a different version of GarageBand your places your things are going to be different click that off play it now you don't have the metronome okay now we go over here uh, is it this one yeah that this little scissors here uh, bring up this thing called a piano roll you stretch that out like that and then you can hear what all your sounds are by taking your your uh, your arrow thing and going over all of these keys and there's my bass drum a C1 and this this is divided it's four four times so you got one two three four and you can also change this over here to notation and it, it will go like that and then you can write your music uh, on here uh, musical notation if you're if you're better with that I prefer the piano roll um, and then if I want to draw something I hit the control or the the Apple and I press the left click and there's my first beat also note velocity right here it says 63 uh, if it's at 63, you're not going to be able to hear it too well. So I, w I think it goes up to 127. Let's see. Yeah. 
that's full blast right there and that you should hear it pretty well let's try well I guess not let's just drag this right here okay so now let's try the next one and put that one right there and that one automatically went to 63 so delete that we delete this one and I'm just doing that by clicking on it and then hitting the delete button I'm sure there's a different way I actually use Logic Express uh, 9 which is a lot easier for me to use than this um, but now we're starting out here again with the velocity of 63 and I'm just gonna do this all the way across and now we can press play and you can hear how quiet it is now but we can turn that up up here okay and then I think there's a uh, mixer right here still not very loud anyway if you want to look at that uh, as a bigger thing you come over here and I believe it's no it doesn't do that there uh, right here maybe yeah okay that that'll do that one and then down here you can stretch it out this way so then you can actually look at the little subdivisions in each note and you could make those shorter and then put put another one in here right there you can make make them shorter like that now you can do this with any any instrument so if you're really creative with uh, music and stuff like that I'm actually a drummer so uh, this would basically works well for writing click tracks or for writing drum tracks. Um, of course, I wouldn't do it in this program. Um, but this, if you do have this program and you don't have the money for another program, this program works. Okay, now say I'm happy with that then if I want to loop it if you look up here on the top where I have my arrow you can see a loop if I left click on that and I pull it out it's gonna loop that same thing as many times as I want to loop it okay now if I don't want to loop it and I want to just make the bar longer then I go to the bottom corner and pull it out and that will make that will make it uh, two bars or you can pull that out as far as you want it and write your your beats longer um, and then if you want to mix that down you're happy with that measure um, obviously you're gonna take this off we'll take it off with the loop on uh, Logic Express you just click that and it shuts off um, so say that song was all finished, I would go up here to, uh, uh, I think there's something called bounce on this one, and, no, there isn't, so I think we can go to save as, um, no, we don't want to do that. <clears throat> Okay, you can send it, send the song to iTunes, or you can export it. Um, it used to, I thought there was a way you could do something here with MP3. I know, I'm pretty sure that you can.
if I just clicked on send song to iTunes so then you can uh, right iTunes playlist uh, whatever playlist you you want to name it you can call it uh, click track artist name your name and then uh, composer name your name album name wherever you want that to go compress goes to mp3 high quality or you can go down and, and do higher quality a good quality um, and then hit share and it goes right to your iTunes uh, library and then you find it there you can drag it onto your iPod and there you have a click track that's it